Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card using the Butterfly Gala for the butterflies um, painted glass for the sentiment for the spots I used waterfront and for the squares I just used my blocks so I've got painted glass and I'm going to use a reason to celebrate the butterfly gala and I'm going to use these butterflies waterfront just for the spots and inside I put um, what did I put they say it's your birthday so I use that one I've mounted all my stamps so first of all card base card need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth folded in half and burnished a piece of white cardstock which I always put in the middle I know a lot of people don't agree but I it's the way I do it a five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of black cardstock basic black at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters and some scrap for the butterflies we're going to stamp the butterflies first so that they'll dry ready to color in so I'll stamp that there and I only need a big one but doesn't matter if I've got an extra little one it can go in my box for another time so leave them to dry right with our top piece I am going to stamp the sentiment first on this one I stamped the sentiment last and I had to stamp it over some dots and you can't really see a reason to celebrate because the dots blur it out so I'm going to stamp that first Let's put it on my stamp straight on my block straight now I am going to stamp it upside down and I'm going to stamp it there and I've got a funny feeling it's not straight oh it is straight right clean that right and inside bit I'm going to uh, stamp they say it's your birthday I'm just going to stamp that in the middle and that is definitely not straight that do stamp right the color inks I'm going to use is power petal pink <coughs> gonna open them all up now so saffron Coastal Cabana Mint Macaron and Highland Heather Put them like that 
and then I have got a selection which I didn't get out of all my blocks, my small blocks. So this one is a C block, B, A, and this one had a sentiment on it, and the G. Oh, all I did was with my C block and mint macaron. I'm going to just change the colours around a little bit. I stamp this up here. Stamped. Place the block like that. Then clean it because I will use that one again. And then I did this little one. I did in petal pink, or I'm doing it in petal pink. Just dab it in the ink and overlap the mint macaron a bit. Like that. Clean it off. Then the yellow. So saffron. I did this down there. Then the Costa Cabana. I took the bigger block and I did it at an angle. Like that. And then I took this one, it's not a Stampin' Up block, but it's bigger than a G block. And I went in this in Highland Heather. And then just stamp that up on the bottom. Like that. And clean that. Right. Next. Oh, a little one. Where's my little one? Here. I did another so saffron up here. Like that. Right, and with my inside, I took this one and I did it in, not this one, this one, the B block, mint macaron, and just went over the, well that didn't come out very dark, but that's fine. And did it again in petal pink. Turn it round. And that's all I've done. Like that. This one's finished with. Let's close all these up. black and my spots. All I did was just do some random black spots like that. I'm not putting none up there. 
drehen da auf. And that we're finished. All our stamping. Look at this. Grotty. Put that up to one side. Bring our butterflies back. And with that I used Daffodil Delight and Pumpkin Pie. All I did was colour the whole butterfly in Daffodil Delight. one as well. And this big one. And then with the pumpkin pie, I just did a line around the edges, just roughly. and bits in the middle just enough to give it a bit of colour in the middle because you're going to colour its body in when it's cut out same with the little butterfly And then I just dotted a few dots. And I did a circle there. And put a dot on the bottom one. And that is all I done with my butterflies. Well, until I punched them out. And then we punch them out. Min evenly. If we can. Like that do. And this one. Just need to concentrate on the lower one. Right. Don't need that one. And then with our black marker pen, all I did was you know on this scrap bit, the bit that punches out, I coloured them. And then I did a line down the body. Colour in the bit that punches out. And then a line down the body. 
same with this tiny one. That is how I made my butterflies. Ooh. Can you see that on my green finger? To stick these on all I did was put my thumb at the side of its body and lift the wing on both sides. And lift the wings both sides. Just so that you've got somewhere to glue. Because you don't want your butterflies to be flat. Right, now if you're going to post your butterfly, it's a good idea if you get your mini dimensionals. Now I'm sure I have. I have some tiny bits here, which I'm going to cut even smaller. Just get two tiny bits of dimensionals and put them either side of the body. I've lost me a little bit. Never mind, I shall cut a bit. I must refine it in a minute. So. Just cut, I need four, three. Right. Take the back and off. And put this one the other side, other side of its body. Right, do the same with this big one. I think I've just found that other little bit. It's there, stuck on my scissors. So. Right, that's them ready. You don't put them on the little one. Or you'd never get it in the post. Right, now then, stick this down. And a bit of glue. Glue this on. Of a tiny border all the way around if you've got it right. And then we'll stick this on the card. Inside bit in. All right, and place your butterflies where you want them. So I am going to have them where I've just landed them. So all I've done is take the backing off the dimensionals. 
right, I'm holding my wings up. Leave them up until the glue dries. That one's off. Hold the wings up. bits of dimensional and then just push your wings down and because they're on dimensionals they will pop back up so if you're posting this and it will go first class or second class normal post as soon as they take them out the envelope the wings will pop back up so that is my card for today hope you like it. If so, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.